Hello and welcome everybody. This is the introduction to the rendering course in the year 2020 at the TU Wien. So first off, we want to give you a little taste of what this lecture will be about and also why you should actually put some effort into learning the things that we will be talking about in the upcoming lectures. Understanding the mathematical foundations and underlying principles of rendering enables us to generate realistic looking images of highly complex input scenes. And there are many ways to achieve that, but in this course, our method of choice and the general topic will be the method of path tracing. And path tracing or ray tracing or similar variants are pretty much ubiquitous now. Almost any animated movie that is being released these days features some sort of path tracing or ray tracing for special effects. And the range of applications that can exploit ray tracing and make use of it has even increased further as of late. There is now a collective effort to bring ray tracing to commodity hardware. And one example of that would be the Touring architecture by NVIDIA, which has dedicated hardware modules that allow to speed up and accelerate ray traversal and ray tracing of scenes in general. So the goals of this lecture would be to convey how these methods work and also, as we already mentioned, give you an understanding of the fundamental underlying principles. And an important aspect of that would be to understand the nature of light and color what these actually mean in the context of rendering and also in physical terms, modeling light transport for image synthesis from an input 3D geometry scene, and the generation of realistic or artistic high quality images from a given input. And last but not least, making the rendering process effective is a very important part uh, especially for path tracing, because if you don't take care of that, it will take you a long time to generate any output at all. There are some prerequisites that we expect from you in order to complete this course. And the first and more important one would be a general interest in computer graphics. The second would be basic programming skills, particularly in C++, because we will be using code snippets throughout the slides and there will be a practical lab exercise as well. We also expect you to have a firm understanding of the fundamentals of higher mathematics, including interpreting moderately complex formulas, applying and understanding the concepts of linear algebra, probability and statistics essentials, and also some calculus, particularly integrals and derivatives will be used heavily. And if you need a recap or introduction to any of these mathematical foundations, you can still do that now before starting off with the lecture. Um, what should help should be the early chapters of the recommended course book. Or if you need a more didactic approach and something that is more visual, you might consider checking out 3Blue, 1Brown as a series on linear algebra and calculus. The lecture will be held by Adam Celarek and me, Bernard Kerber, and the expected time for you to be available in order to ask questions would be Wednesdays at 1 p.m., unless otherwise announced. And this time slot also includes the chance for making announcements and updates regarding the practical part of the lecture. So the practical part, the lab exercise, consists of three programming exercises, which are based on the Nori renderer. The framework can be downloaded via Git and also submissions will be made via Git. And each of these exercises must be solved individually, so there is no group work involved. Finally, there will be a final exam towards the end of the semester. So in order to get a passing grade in this course, there are several factors that go into that. The most important one would be to do the lab exercises and you can earn up to 100 points if you follow the instructions and requirements in the assignment sheets. But you can also add to that extra points that you will obtain for putting in additional effort and excellent solutions may actually earn you enough points to skip the final exam completely. 
and this should be an incentive for you to go out and try some of the advanced techniques that we will present in the course of this lecture yourself even if it isn't strictly required in the assignment sheets and the second most important part would be to study for the final exam the questions will of course be based on the topics that we talk about in this lecture and as we already mentioned the final exam will be held towards the end of the lecture course there is a recommended lecture book it's called physically based rendering third edition and if you cannot afford to add that one to your own private library there's also an electronic version of the book available at the book's homepage which contains most of the important contents that we will talk about in this lecture and of course there's also the course page which is available under the link provided below there are the Tuvel and TASS course pages as well and the lecture slides which we will be uploading to the course homepage the assignment sheets will be released in the course of the semester online as well in terms of how contents and information will be communicated in this course the lecture slides will be made available online on the course homepage for official announcements we will be using TISS and group mail for discussion topics of the lecture contents we recommend that you actually use the Tuvel platform if you find any mistakes issues or there are special actions required for you for instance any issues with your GitLab account or similar uh, please do not hesitate to contact us via direct mail for submissions and testing we use a GitLab that is hosted on the link given on the bottom of this slide regarding what you should and should not communicate here are some examples of good and bad ideas for instance it is encouraged to talk about the lecture contents with us or your colleagues also it is highly encouraged to ask general questions on too well as well as writing us mails if you find any mistakes or errors in the course material so that we can provide updates in special cases it is also okay for you to send us your code but only if you don't find any other means of getting to the bottom of an error that you keep seeing uh, for examples of bad ideas it is not encouraged to send us mails before you have checked all the other available course materials for instance the relevant lecture slides or ongoing two well discussions uh, also it is a very bad idea to actually share your code with your colleagues because if we find that there are similarities within the submissions between two or more people we will do very detailed plagiarism checks towards the end of the semester to make sure that code is not simply copied between participants and of course this also goes for posting code on too well because by doing it you are basically implicitly uh, encouraging plagiarism in the course if you need to contact us personally please do not hesitate to do so and if you do please use the official TOVN mailing addresses that are provided for you here on this slide. 